Hey, it's Ella from Sublime. When it comes to 3D elements, we can create some nice realistic effects, but what about a more cartoonish or even flat style for our 3D design? This can be a unique and creative approach to our scenes. Today's video is inspired by SPAG's website and their colorful and 2D-like 3D. We will guide you on how to recreate this effect using Spline. So let's get started. So when you create an object in Spline like this cube, by default we get this gray color and you can see that it has shading. So let's head over to the material panel here and we can quickly change the color. Next to lighting is this eye icon. If we click on it, this will disable lighting, making the 3D appear more flat and more like 2D. We can scroll down to the shadow panel. Now next to cast, click on no. This will disable the shadows from being projected, making the colors and materials appear flatter like a 2D object. A detail you can add to achieve a cartoonish style is using the outline layer. For this, we can simply go to the material panel and click on this plus icon, and here we can select outline. You can click here and edit things like the color of the outline, even the thickness, and if you want the outline to go on either both sides or just the inside of your object. You can also add an internal stroke if you add more contour. Here you can select the axis or the directions of your stroke. So let's say we want to add color to our object, but we only want to add it to one side of our object. This is actually very easy to achieve, and you can do this either with the image layer or using the depth layer. When we add a depth layer by default, we have this smooth gradient effect. You can add gradient stops by clicking anywhere in the ramp here, or by clicking between any of the already existing points on the ramp within the viewport. The further apart the gradient stops are from each other, the more we'll have this blending effect. But if we bring them closer, the more solid the transition between the two colors will become. So let's create a different color for each face of our cube. On the depth layer, I'm going to change this to linear and bring our gradient stops closer together. All right, let's change the color. And for this color stop, I will change the opacity to zero so it's not visible. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. Now let's add another color to the other side of our cube. So let's duplicate this depth layer and change the color. And now in the settings, we can see origin and direction. You can also adjust the position of the depth layer here. All right, so I kept adding more colors to the shape. Maybe I got a little carried away, but I think it looks pretty nice. You can play with this and apply it to different shapes and objects as you're playing in Spline. And here's a nice little trick. Say you wanna add a contour effect like this but you want it to only affect one side. What you can do to achieve this is add two outline layers. Have only one outline layer for the outline and have the other for the contour. Then you can adjust the position in the material panel to ensure the contour is visible on the specific side that you want. You can make simple elements like these come to life by adding animations and interactions, like having these elements rotate or grow as our mouse moves towards them using the mouse hover event. Let's use an object from the spine library to apply this 2D look to. There are a ton of objects to choose from and you can pick from different categories. Hmm. Let's go with this Jordan shoe. I think this could look really neat with a 2D style.
Now let's adjust the color and add an outline layer to the shoe design. This is going to make it look more flat and have that 2D like style. You can add this final result to your website using our code free exports. In the description, we have a link to the Spags live site for you to check out, as well as the Spline docs where you can learn more about all of the exports Spline has to offer. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord, that's also linked below, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!